Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the All of Our People's All of Our Sun. So first off, let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. They have 51 millimeter lenses and a 19 millimeter bridge, and the sunglasses have a Wayfair style to them. They look very similar to the Ray-Ban Original Wayfair, and they actually look even more similar to the Ray-Ban Wayfair Ease which have no tilt. So the original Ray-Ban Wayfair, of course, have a tilt that comes in towards the cheek, but here we can see they are very flat, just like the Ray-Ban Wayfair Ease. However, these sunglasses are much more premium and nice compared to those sunglasses. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at these sunglasses. We can see those traditional metal accents here in the top right corners of the sunglasses. And then if we move down the temples, we can actually see these absolutely beautiful uh, etched metal stems that run all the way down to the ear rest. And then here on the ear rest, again, we have another little metal etching on both the right and the left hand side. The metal etching here looks absolutely gorgeous and really adds a very premium element to the sunglasses. These frames are all for people's dark honey and we can easily see that metal etching straight through them. These sunglasses have very premium and nice all metal hinges which just feel very very nice and premium when opening them up and when closing them and the metal hinge is actually integrated into the metal accent here that are on the front so it's integrated into that metal accent and it's also integrated into the metal stand that runs all the way down the temple, which means that they're going to be very solid and have a very good firm feel to them and they're not going to break very easily. Now these sunglasses are made in Italy. They say that here in the inner right temple of sunglasses, they say all over people's LA with their little logo and they say vintage glass. And then over here in the inner right ear rest, we can see it says handcrafted in Italy. Now taking a look at the inner left temple sunglasses, we can see they say all over sun, then 5119, and then followed by that is 145, which stands for the overall width of these frames, which is very standard. Now the build quality on these is absolutely amazing. Everything just feels very nice and premium, which it should because these are not a cheap pair of sunglasses. These are going to run you around $470 without polarized lenses. And if you pick up a pair of polarized lenses, they're going to run you at least $500 and I think $30, which is definitely not cheap, but the quality of these frames is definitely very good. Now, another thing that's really nice about these frames, they come in a ton of absolutely beautiful acetate colors. So if you go over to the website, you can see they come in a ton of really, really beautiful and very rich and vibrant colors that I think you guys are definitely going to like. Now the lenses on every pair are all for people's crystal lenses, are all glass lenses, and the optical clarity of these is absolutely fantastic. Looking through them, everything is nice and bright, and everything looks really nice. And they're also going to block 100% UVA and UVB rays, and they also have a very nice anti-reflective material, which really helps cut down on glare from sunlight coming in at an angle and bouncing off the lens. Now as far as coverage from sun goes, these do have that Wayfair styling to them, so they're not going to offer as good coverage as something like a pair of aviator sunglasses. So here up top, we can see there definitely is a gap to let sunlight in unprotected. And then here on the sides, again, there is a pretty big gap to let sunlight in unprotected, but we do have that really nice anti-reflective material that we already talked about, which really does help reduce glare. But unfortunately with gaps like this, if the sun is coming in at the right angle, it'll go right into your eye and that can definitely cause some discomfort. Now, as far as weight goes, sunglasses are going to be about as heavy as a pair of original Ray-Ban Wayfarers. They're not going to be any lighter or any heavier they're just about the same as those sunglasses. So you can definitely wear sunglasses for long periods of time without any discomfort. Now, overall, I really do like these sunglasses. I think the look looks really, really good on face. They have a very nice twist, that original Ray-Ban Wayfair styling, but these sunglasses are not bold and they don't have Ray-Ban logos all over them. They are very nice and discreet. You know, the original Ray-Ban Wayfarers have a big Ray-Ban raised logo here in the outer temples of the sunglasses. And of course, they also do have a painted on Ray-Ban logo. And there's definitely some people who think that's a little bit tacky. So if you're looking for a great alternative to that original Ray-Ban Wayfair with really good styling, this pair of sunglasses definitely might be for you. I think they look really, really nice and classy. And again, this is a pair of all over people sunglasses. So they're not going to be any logos or anything gaudy on the outside of the frames. All over people sunglasses are more about advertising you than they are advertising a brand, which is really nice. And I definitely appreciate that about all over people sunglasses. So as far as pricing goes, like I said, these are going to run around $400 and seventy dollars to over five hundred dollars However, you can definitely pick these sunglasses up much cheaper on Amazon. So I'll be sure to leave a link in the description down below where you guys can check out the sunglasses directly from Amazon. And hopefully you guys can save a lot of money by picking them up there. Well, that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I a brand new video, just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.